Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 12 of Spyro, A Hero's Tale. So I actually did beat that. I did beat it. I literally had missed it on top of a tower and it was embarrassing. So now we need to go to that zone over there to get the uh, dark gem. So I think I also fixed the... Um... In, uh, what is that? Interlacing issue? I also fixed any audio bugs as well as the controller bugs, it seems. So there is something that we need to get under there. But I think to technically get there, right, we're gonna have to go over here. And I'm just gonna casually ignore these enemies that, uh, you can block, but you can't kill. And I'm assuming this will activate the elevator here. So this is the final dark gem to get to the boss of this world that turbine now gets electricity back to it which then brings down these platforms which allows me to traverse over there okay so that's interesting why are there gems right there is that where we we're supposed to glide down wait what's the oh okay wait what's this then this is interesting like what the heck do we have here Probably moves those platforms right to reconnect this zone. Yeah, that just reconnects everything. So we're still missing two gems and how many eggs? One egg. So I'm assuming there's going to be one of each over here. And then as for the last gem, I'm not entirely sure what that would even be because we do have the um the light gem from dealing with Sergeant Bird. Does this game? Rude question, but does this game actually tell you, um, clear Sergeant Bird Speedway, use the wing shield, destroy all dark gems, it doesn't really tell you anything else, that's, that's so weird. I don't know why it doesn't tell you more, but it just doesn't. Now, where was it that we needed to go? Over here, right? Oh god, I almost forgot that you could double jump in this game. I was so used to playing Crash Bandicoot before this that... The ball gadget? Why is it the ball gadget? That's interesting. Well, let's see where this takes us. Race down the track and collect the dragon egg within the time limit. That's a Sergeant Bird egg, really? Oh wait, sorry. Circle is boost, square is to break for whatever silly reason. That's confusing. But you actually have to hold up. Otherwise, you don't actually gain the boost. You know. Oh, that way opens up at some point. I'm pretty sure... Do you want to... Are you serious? Because the game, like, didn't auto-lock us onto those, we died. That's, that's stupid. Can you jump too? No, you can't actually jump. I was gonna see if that would make getting those gems just that much easier, but no, you can't. And I don't think, yeah, I know, you can see the force field there, you can't get up there right now. Yahoo! Yeah, then you need to do that, because now we're up here. Oh. Now we gotta bounce on these ones. We only have 25 seconds left. Do you think we're gonna make it or not? Oh my god. Will you bump or not? Alrighty then. Weird question, but how do you... How do you make that? Because even with the interruptions there, I don't think we would have had enough time. Or, without the interruptions there, I don't think we would have had enough time to beat it. So, I'm confused. Because we can't take the shortcut. Did it literally just launch us through the wall? And then you gotta sit through this cut. 
cutscene every time. You gotta watch that egg rise up out of the hole. Like, who wants to see that every time they play this level? Like, oh, we need to see that egg come up out of that hole about ten dozen times. Like, oh my god, game. Like, give it a break already and let us, like, look at something else while we see that man. Am I going to attempt to take that way? Uh, and let me guess, it's going to get even harder with a light gem, right? And see, you can't boost. Like, you can't boost there, so... Man, this level and its obscurely difficult freaking um, challenges... Whew. I don't even think the next world is that annoying, and technically we can go and fight the boss in this episode, so I'm just wasting time here. Wasting both our time doing these missions, but... You know, the game's just like... We're gonna taunt you with this. You wanna get 100% for your viewers? Well, guess what? You're gonna have to have fails on this. Now, I wonder if, if we do this, if that'll help. Just gain momentum right there and then let go here. And then as soon as we're on this one, gain it back, you know? Okay, we made it through that section a lot more smoothly. Ow. There we go. Four. There we go, we got it! Do you want to return and try for a light gem? Oh my god, yep. Let me guess. Oh, you actually get more of a time limit. Weird, that's usually not how these things work, but... Normally the challenge you get less time... Also, why couldn't I move? Like, it just wasn't going anywhere. Now we should be able to open up that other pathway, right? And that it- Oh, it automatically forces you to go that way. Never mind. I thought it was like a shortcut. And that was like it's- You know, I hate that. Like, they don't indicate to you that, oh, you're gonna have to slow down on these parts so you don't overshoot it instead of it just being automatic which I think it should be because once you bounce off of it it's automatic anyway so I don't get why they didn't just straight up make it completely automatic they are just silly actually we know where one of the other light gems is because it's on the underside of that one platform remember like uh back outside there what I almost overshot that and I had no momentum. Like, I don't know what the game was thinking there, but it is just dumb. And there we go. Sheesh. Okay. Wait, it's just an extra chunk to that one platform. That's so weird. Or, it's an extra chunk, chunk to the challenge. They just made this challenge longer. They didn't make it more difficult, per se. They just made it longer. How many times do I have to tell this game that, that making things longer doesn't make it more difficult or more fun? Alright. Five. Wait. Five. Four. Alright, we actually beat it. Do you want to return to the top of the course? Select no to exit. Nope, no thank you. Thank you. And like I said, that was the final egg here. Right, so there's just one gem left, and we know for a fact where it is. It's actually not over there, by the way. It's not, it's, like, honestly not over there. Also, oh, well, there's that, I guess. Now, where was it that we needed to go? Wait. Oh my god, it actually did bring us around. That's funny. So, actually, that was it was over there. I am here to relieve you of the burden. Let's go back to the tallest tower. This gives me an excuse to have a drink. Let's go up the whirlwind, everybody. 
Well, look everybody, it's Mr. Krebs, aka Mr. Sergeant Burderson. Burn. It's weird how you can just hold it down and he'll like, kind of spit it every now and then. Now, how do I get down there? Because the light gem is clearly underneath us, so I want to see how we get under here. Oh. Easy. All right. Oh. That's so dumb. We technically know how to get to the last gem, but we can't because we don't have the wall jump. Well, that's super disappointing. And I guess we'll just go back to the, um... Why can't I go back to the... That's so dumb. But you can't go back to the depot, but you can go back to the depot after you buy it here, you know? Or after you buy the uh, waypoint thing here, just what? I want to buy one now, right? Now I can go to it. I still don't understand that, by the way. Well, let's go grab some health while we're here and go and deactivate that door. I think wall jump is all we need for the... Because I think we 100% of this area, except for one light gem, which... Yeah, we know where that one is. We know exactly where it is. We just don't know how to get it. So, oh, we're healing the land. Alright. Now the sky will become clear and trees will randomly appear. You do realize those trees weren't even there, right? I wonder if we're going to need like some kind of breath or something to get down here. Also, I do believe we get a new power-up. Also, can I destroy that shell? Hmm. Why are there enemies th Wait! Well, I'm gonna lose health because of a crab that cheap shot me, man? Really? How much are the purple gems even worth? I think they're actually still worth 25. Watery Tomb. Where am I even going? Oh, I'm going over here. Oh, this doesn't look fun at all. people I fight say I'm smaller than they expected. You know, they're trying to psych me out. Oh, I guess I just assumed dragons were tiny. You know, I spend all my time in the water, so I don't get to see a lot of dragons. I was just like, oh, really, man? Yeah, so you have to hit her gem. Now, remember, if you die... Wait. It can't even hit me over here. And then, like, he gets tired out. And boom! I don't know what else she does. The music here is pretty good. But yeah, anyways, this is a Neptune. The Toxic Mermaid. I'm assuming she's the reason why, like, things were poisonous. Really? Oh, that's actually going to get longer than I thought. Can I just, like, cheese it and, uh... Whoa, no, no, don't cheese it. That's for certain. Oh, the camera automatically moves back to where she is. My one gripe with this game is how lengthy the boss battles are. And they're not, like, difficult either. Like, like look at that. Like, is that supposed to be difficult in the slightest? It doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Now, I believe the arena changes, too, every time you hit her. And I can't remember what power-up you get next. Because there are technically two more bosses after this. Oh, wait, I just realized the platform behind me is gone, too. Alright, next we got our poison breath attack coming back. Nice. 
talk about having bad breath. Oh, okay, so she's going to, um, throw one glob of poison balls at me? That's, that's not very intimidating. And there we go! Boom! I believe in part of the cutscene it shows her getting hit, right? Oh, I thought it did. Oh, ha ha ha, you fed the stereotype. And once again, you throw one ball, like... Wait, there was a butterfly? Really? So the attack just gets longer, that's so stupid. Like, is she gonna get any more difficult, or what? Like, compared to Nasty Nork, this is a cakewalk. Oh, there we go, I was gonna say, like... Oh, and they're not even either. Uh... Not even... Oh, that one should've hit me, but it didn't, so... Aha! And where's she gonna appear this time? Oh, she appeared to the left. How many balls are you gonna throw? Is it gonna be one, and like, you're gonna... It, Cause it looks like she's gonna throw more than one, right? And then... Yeah, she th only throws one! I think her breath gets a little bit longer ranged, maybe? I'm not actually even entirely sure, but... Goodbye! Four more hits and you're dead, in Neptune. She's even got jiggle physics. That's kind of funny, considering this is like a kid's game. But you can technically cheese these by standing on the uh, statues. But wait. Can I really just... I can really just cheese it if I, like, jump at the very end of that. That's good to know. I haven't even lost a health here. I lost a health on a crab and then got it healed up because the game was, like, I guess having a pity party on me. Oh my god, oh yeah, now we're gonna have to wait again. Because if you get hit, for whatever reason... Yeah, they they have to do it again. In most games, it's just a quick way to sometimes, you know, get a hit off on the boss, but in this game, nope. You gotta actually wait for them to do the phase again. Final phase, let's go. Yeah, give it a rest. So what am I listening to? Oh, it's a butterfly! It's not what I'm listening to, but whatever. Actually, I have no idea what's in the background. Because I can't turn the camera. I just hear electricity and that's it. Alright, what do we got this time? Anything different? Oh. Just a lot faster, but also easier. I was gonna say easier to dodge because I can just jump over it more repeatedly, but no. I, I got hit. Here comes her little poison globby chuck. Wait, what? Did that home in on me? How did I not avoid that? Um, and then she didn't do it. Is she bugged? I'm so confused, but anyways, Krakatoa! I still don't know why I hear electricity in the background. What is going on there, man? I believe the next world, though, is pretty cool. And pun intended- oh! Oh! Ow! That was just better for me to take the damage, because... Those were not, um... Like, synchronized, worth a darn. Now we got the big one, right? Oh, we got the two little ones, and then the poison breath, and then the weird 360 spin maneuver I keep doing. And that's the boss defeated! Boom! There we go! She said over. He said overacting, but it said overreacting. Wait a minute. That remember the light gem back 
you know, in the overworld that we couldn't get? It was... It was water breath. Okay. I see how it is, game. What's this one, then? Oh, I guess it's just the same thing. Yeah, press the right directional button. Okay, so this is not the breath type that I thought we were going to get here. But, technically, before we beat this world entirely, I think we should go and get that one gem that we couldn't get here. Now, I forget which which one, well, like, waypoint it's at. We can also get the uh, horn dive attack now, and I think finish off everything that Moneybags has to offer us. Also, I don't think this breath actually hurts it. Never mind, it, it hurts these guys. I was going to say, I don't think it hurts enemies, but it's these little guys, that's for sure. Oh, hello, eh? Feel free to browse my fine ways. Uh, yeah, I and think it's... Spin. Is it this one? I think it's this one, right? I don't actually know. Anyways, we might as well grab some extra health while we're at... Oh yeah, this one you can hold down longer, which is pretty cool. Wait, was Blink even there? Oh, okay, he was. I was like... Did Blink just disappear? We do have this spot over here. Now... Are you serious? You stupid enemy ruining everything. Yes, die, all of you enemies. Was it this one that we needed? Or was this the one that led us to the- No, this is the one that led us to the next world. This was the wrong one. We needed the other one. Darn it. Darn it. I don't think Water Breath, though, is super useful. I forgot all about it, though. I honestly thought there was only one other Breath type, and that was it. I didn't think there was actually Water Breath, but... I guess that makes perfect sense, considering, you know, everything. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. I don't think it's that one. I think it's down here. We'll also buy the horn dive thing when we're here. Like I said, but didn't do anyway. This one just, we get it for the cheapest price, so 10,000 gems. There we go. Now let's see what it does. Eh. For 12,000 gems, that seems kind of like a bad deal. Just just saying there, money bags. You, you know how to rip a dragon off, dude. Yeah, I think it's down here. Beep beep, Mr. Krabs and Krabby. Ah, yeah, there it is. Now we need the right directional button. And we go right here. And... Whoa! Level completed. And there we go. We officially finished everything here. So now we can go travel to the next world, and then the next episode, we're gonna start over there. I think the game starts to get better, though, once you're in the second half. Just, just saying. So, anyways, let's, um... Where's the teleporter? There's the teleporter. Professor should pop up. Or I guess not. Oh, we can go to the icy wilderness. Okay, well, let's go. Ah, yes, the icy wilderness. Beautiful. I cannot believe this. What is going on around here? Do I have to deal with Spyro myself? He'll be on his way here looking for me soon. Hmm. Let me think. Yes, I suppose I could always release my other guardian. Aldred has quite a few tricks up his sleeve that will give Smarty Pants Spyro a run for his money. Stand guard over there, and make sure nobody gets past you. If you let me down, you know what will happen. 
Why does he have a mammoth guarding the mine? Spyro, now here you are on the beautiful but cold icy wilderness. You should head to the Ice Citadel and try to find the Elder there. He may be able to tell you where Red is hiding. And teach me how to wall jump, clearly. I don't even remember this level. Like, I really don't. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time when we explore this world that I completely forgot about. I was thinking of the next world, not this one.